Hi, this is Dr. Rudra from the Oral Health Channel and today we are going to be talking about the role of ultrasound therapy in treatment of OSMF that is oral submucous fibrosis. Let's start. So some of my viewers in the comment section actually wanted me to make a video about the role of ultrasound therapy in OSMF that is oral submucous fibrosis. I have already made a very detailed episode on oral submucous fibrosis at large. So I am not going to be talking about the typical presentation of oral submucous fibrosis but just to brush up it is basically uh, an inflammatory reaction and it is a pre malignant condition wherein you get burning sensation and you get the limited restricted opening of the mouth that can become harrowing as a patient because it affects the quality of life. Now coming to the point that we already know that the conventional methods are very much popular when it comes to OSMF however we also know that it is irreversible as a condition but again there is no loss of hope because of the fact that the end point of treatment is targeted at making sure that you can tolerate spicy foods at the same time you can open your mouth wide enough to eat food properly and chew it. So we already know the conventional methods that is jaw opening exercises, physiotherapy, medications, nutrition supplements at the same time you have surgical methods for extreme cases and therefore nowadays uh, a few studies have come where they have actually thought of the role as uh, of ultrasound as an adjuvant to conventional therapy in form of uh, you know uh, sessions conducted on patients so that they can get the relief from the symptoms. To be very honest ultrasound therapy is not a substitute it is basically uh, you know an adjunct or an adjuvant to conventional therapy and it has been found in recent studies that the VAS scores that is the visual analog scale that means the pain scale scores of patients have found to be better at the same time along with conventional methods if ultrasound is supplemented it gives a better mouth opening result as per the studies. Now the studies have been very limited so I also have a very limited resource base to actually say this as a very concrete fact but the evidence actually does suggest that it is significantly better in terms of quality of life or perception when you add conventional methods with ultrasound therapy. Now when you talk about ultrasound therapy it's very simple you use an ultrasound machine which is basically a, a, a vibration machine that produces ultrasound and the frequency is more than 17,000 hertz and it is used as 5 minutes per session on the affected area. Now coming to the biological basis or the molecular basis of how ultrasound works ultrasound is known to increase the blood flow in that particular area wherever we are going and this is actually very much proven because in physiotherapy side ultrasound is used a lot especially around sports uh, physiotherapy and all those things. So basically what is supposed to be said that because of the fibrosis and the lack of collagen breakdown in the area which is affected by oral submucous fibrosis ultrasound helps in breaking those fibrous additions at the same time improves the vascular supply by increasing the local rise of temperature in the deeper layers of the oral mucosa and thereby helping out the flushing out of the metabolic uh, metabolites that are present in that area because of consumption of uh, ericanate and its other constituents leading to OSMF. Now the evidence suggests that ultrasound along with conventional methods is considered very good in terms of adding better value of life and quality of life and perception of pain when it comes to patients because it also leads to some sort of uh, a relief from the pain because of the nerve stimulation and that stimulation happens because of the ultrasound. So uh, to conclude ultrasound is not a substitute when it comes to OSMF. The main thing when you have to consider treatment of OSMF is obviously withdrawal of the habit, cessation of the habit, supplementing yourself with nutrients, doing physiotherapy exercises, taking internal lesion injections if required and in extreme cases surgical therapy if required and also now, nowadays you can talk about ultrasound therapy as an adjunct to conventional methods. So this was today's episode please like share and subscribe and do press the bell icon for important updates if you want to get in touch with me if you want to do a whatsapp consultation I would strongly recommend not calling me because I would be busy with patients just drop me a message with your name place and what problem you are suffering with at the same time if you feel the need to talk about your queries apprehensions or doubts the youtube section comment section is there you are most welcome to comment in that and I will get back to you. So that's it for today thank you.